My Kirby and 6AM, it's gonna be Incineroar and Kirby! Oh, this is fun! Ooh. This is not something to see too often. Absolutely, what do you think we're gonna see in this game? I think we're gonna see them getting both blowing up each other. Incineroar does not have um, the quickness of Kirby's moves, but the ability to absolutely punt this pink ball at 40% and take the stock, while Kirby has the ability to mash on Incineroar and really take advantage of their slow um, their slow speed. Absolutely, and we're already seeing my Kirby just kind of eat. Ooh, 6 a.m. up, only with 21% on. They really got eight up. It doesn't matter how many times, you know, 6 a.m. wanted to mash Nair. My Kirby is just being relentless and not even like letting up. Already 6 a.m. has not been able to do a single thing this game. Finally getting this back throw. Yeah. They're going to have to take advantage of this. Oh, God. That could have been so scary. Okay, keeping it up. Quick side note. I want to shout out 6 a.m.'s dedication to the time of 6 a.m. Their tag and hat both say it. So uh, we really love that time. And let's Absolutely. see if they can um, beat them in, I think, 2 a.m.'s playing right now in Anim Crossing. So <laughs> let's see if they can beat 6 a.m. can win while 2 a.m. plays. It would be quite a miracle. Definitely love this. Mike Kirby has definitely been showing some okay, per proficiency, go. but going to actually lose that stock. But they put on some very nice extra credit. Immediate. Oh, I think they were going to eat him up again. That was smart. Yeah, but honestly, I do think you should be eating up Incineroar because that neutral B is so good. It's really good shield pressure even if they block it, and it's fast and kills. And I think Kirby can probably combo into it as well. Absolutely. You know, my Kirby is quite literally eating 6 a.m. up, and it's just kind of crazy. Like, only 26% and taking that second Great stock, too. Great weight on that back Look at air. this. Look at this. Just wow. Amazing. Already kind of just doing really well. Not going to get hit by that because um, Incineroar does actually have invisibility on their arms, and the only place they don't actually have that is on their head yeah it's a tough move to hit even if you know it's coming absolutely and wow just this is this is very i love this patience honestly you know trying to at least get something in not choosing the right option and just gonna Ooh. pay for it with their disadvantage not with their lives maybe but they're definitely paying for it in some form or way and not going to get that f smash read however they are going to get that um, in, um 6 a.m is going to get that side b and just Wow, it's it's kind of ooh, look at this. Just wow. I definitely do love this neutral. They're playing it really well right now, trying their best. Mike Kirby knows knows Kirby's weaknesses as a character and is playing around really well by staying away from um, Incineroar. They're, they only go in with quick moves when they know they can because Kirby doesn't have the ground speed to really or at least the airspeed to really play super aggressive. So they have to be smart with how they pick their pockets. Absolutely, and they definitely have to be very safe. Now, Kirby's a small, tiny little red, uh, pink ball. You know, yeah, this they can die scary. at any point. They definitely can. One grab from Cinnamon could lead to a good string. Like Look at that. that. Already 57%. That's so crazy. Oh, and trying to down there them again. They haven't been getting that down there too consistently, but this and is very scary. Pretty much even now. That's I mean, honestly, look at this. You give them an inch, they go a mile, and that's the stop? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, indeed. Absolutely. Um, but for sure, that was definitely looking like it was in Mike Kirby's favor. I mean, just Mike Kirby was really putting in some work, but not going to get that just yet. They definitely need to be very careful because, you know, 6 a.m. had, you know, the ability to just calm it down you know they weren't dead yet and they just took that and ran with it they took it killed them at like 87 percent and that's the end of the story for that game i mean what do you think we should be seeing from this next game because honestly i would like to see you know um mike kirby just be a little bit careful because they looked like they were definitely getting a little bit you know anti towards the end you yeah. know they had a very rough disadvantage and it was just one disadvantage out of how many situations that mike kirby put 6 a.m in it's kind of crazy yeah it's it's the classic tale of a bunch of quick moves versus the slow big strong moves you're gonna be win you're gonna be getting a lot longer strings with kirby but incineroar just needs one a stock pretty much so mike kirby has to be aware of that and know that no matter where you are you can't give incineroar anything you gotta keep playing smart and safe otherwise you're gonna get side beat at 87 uh, roll distance into the stage and die absolutely so, yeah. they took it to town and city now i'm not entirely oh they were just being patient we love this this is what i'm talking about being patient is so good you know mike kirby and 6am they were just standing there the whole time but they 
you know, just immediately just being out for actually, you know, doing something that wasn't entirely just safe, but wow, just showing, these two players are just showing, you know, like, they play two very not really characters that you see too often, and they're definitely showing, you know, their prowess and their skill at this game, and we definitely love it, um, but, ooh, very nice tech, um, caught on that, but getting, you know, 6am put back to the corner, wow. Oop, this is looking a little scary. Um, I mean, they was almost very scary for my Kirby, but nice and they're gonna put my Kirby back into the um, off stage position and just trying to ledge trap very well. They haven't been getting too much off of their ledge traps, and that's very that good barely. on my Kirby for getting around them. Yeah, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, they're at the same percent right now with the weight difference and kill power difference. Like, Kirby can explode so quickly. What are we gonna see here? Ooh. You know, 6 a.m. Very Picking nice from the drop. Very zone nice. Fair. And very nice revenge too. Oh, but not gonna get too much off of it. That was extremely smart coming in from 6 a.m. They knew that that's exactly what Mike Kirby wanted to do and just exactly reacted to it. Perfect. But you know, making it very even right now. This is definitely looking like much more up and even game from both of these players. You know, as we said earlier, 6am only needs, you know, one instance of neutral one in order to actually do anything good with, you know, Incineroar. Yeah. Even with this, like, 40% difference, it's so easy for 6am to close this back up. And in Revenge is interesting because they really did not use it at all game one, so for them just start bringing it out now. I wonder how ready Mike Kirby's gonna be. Is that the stop? Wow. Oh no. That was so good just reading that with the command grab to actually get the kill. That was absolutely amazing. Yeah, well, they got one advantage at about 20 and pushed it all the way to a kill at 67. That's the strength of Incineroar. And what absolutely. Mike Kirby has to constantly be looking out for. You know, this is kind of what happens when you play a very a small character with a lot of weight. You know, not overwhelming them enough is going to be ooh, ooh, the name of this story, but it just really nice at getting that kill. Only took 20% getting to 31. Just starting their advantage already. This is exactly what we want to see. Mike Kirby just not letting up with these grab combos. They are trying to make it as even as possible. They do not want to do anything that's going to put them in a bad spot. And very nice call out on that command grab right there. Just narrowly missing it and the air dodge to get to great, ledge. Great aggressive response from my Kirby. But that's Ooh, oh, that was so good yet so sad. Uh, Mike Kirby did extremely well, especially with their advantage. They just couldn't they just couldn't take they, it out. They couldn't really get a download on that side B, I'd say for sure. That was such a killer for Mike Kirby. Dying at out oh, like 67 the second stock and we're about to see 74 and mids like not that on the ledge either like the smooth kill so early and Mike Absolutely. Kirby had to play around it but they just couldn't really figure it out in time and you they can they, you can't afford that luxury if Lane and Sinor get so many side beats it's, it's gonna result I in mean, the game. You know, honestly, it's just one of those things where it's just like, you might not know the immediate answer to that situation right then, and then you go back, and then you're just like, dang it. Like, that's how I should have punished that. That's how I should have punished that. But this is why, this is exactly why we have instant uploads. We have instant uploads, and you guys can just watch it. So, you know, if my Kirby wanted to, they could have just, like, look on House 3000 at youtube.com slash House 3000 and just rewatch it. And you know what's currently on Twitch? 